I often use this one sentence in our corporate setup is how you feel is how you perform. Mm. So our feelings have a great and a deep connection with what you do, how we do, and most importantly, why we do what we do. So the message I want to leave you with is don't look too far. You have anything surrounding you that will inspire you to do any invention a necessity, a curiosity, anything can turn into an invention. I have worked in the area of science and technology also. So we look at um, water in its nano form. So I'm still waiting for a washing machine to be built in which you can wash your entire set with one cup of water. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, I actually work in our industrial plants where we have like massive machines and unit operations, reactors, distillation columns, and we have people that make it happen, right? And so the biggest thing is we have to be safe whenever we do anything. So uh, for me, like what, what comes to mind in my job is for safety. We can't do anything without that, which is why I brought my steel-toed shoes. And also you have to start from the ground. You have to go out, out to the problem, out to the floor. Uh, if the girls here are at the school level, you know, starting to maybe form clubs inside the schools and, and doing small projects on, on, uh, on, you know, on these topics. For example, my daughter here, she, she was able to form a, a STEAM club. And I think kids were very excited to learn about the DNA sequencing, for example. So that's the first step, I think, starting at the school level uh, and uh, just getting to the basics of the biology. I know we cannot live without a bottle of water. We all know it while we are going. Can we get into habit of maybe filling our steel bottles with water as against using less of this water? So eliminate as much as possible the, the plastic that we are using, innovate in terms of changing this plastic to something that can disintegrate, disintegrate in five years and circulate, of course. I mean, as much as possible, we try to circulate and hopefully it goes, doesn't go into the landfill. Uh, in order to be creative, you need to be curious. You need to explore new knowledge. And uh, you, you don't have to focus only on the topics that you are interested in. So uh, you are in your comfort zone, try to get out of your comfort zone and try, try to search for knowledge in fields that are out of your comfort zone, okay? You have to ask questions, always ask questions. And if you see something, you should think how this can be related to me, to my own life. So how can I make this type of connections? 3D printing helps to imagine a design and then try to build it, but then you don't have to make all the process around. So you eliminate a lot of the process and you try to find a solution and then innovate. Yes, in terms of design, you have to have a crazy mind to make crazy object. This one is not that crazy, but you could not do it in another way. My advice is that they are to ask to the people. Uh, to the teachers, to people who your teachers might know, because talking to people really opens uh, many, many, many doors. Talk with people and there to ask, always there to ask.